everyone, I'm Kelly from Kelly Kid, and today we're going to make strawberry syrup. So the first thing we do is make sure we have all of our ingredients and supplies. So for ingredients, we have frozen strawberries, but you could also use fresh. We have half a lemon for some juice, vanilla extract, and sugar. And for our supplies, we need a pot, some measuring cups, and a teaspoon, and a spoon to mix everything with. So now we're ready to get started. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your hands washed before you start cooking. So we've already done that, so we're going to get started. And we're going to take our pot and put it on the burner and turn it on to medium high heat. And we're going to measure our ingredients and we're just going to measure everything and put it right into the pot and get it started. So like I said, I have some frozen strawberries, but you can use fresh ones as well. And so mine are already cut in half. So I'm just gonna keep them like that. So if you were using fresh strawberries, you would wanna cut them and you can cut them even smaller than this actually. So we're gonna measure two cups. It's a little overflowing because with the bigger pieces, you're not gonna get exactly uh, you're going to have to fill your entire cup, so um, I'm going to throw in a few extra too to make sure we have enough strawberries. And next we're going to do just a little bit of lemon juice. So I have half a lemon here, um, and it's really like half a teaspoon, something like that. So we're not measuring, we're just going to do a little bit. And I'm using my hands here so that way I can catch the seeds. So we don't want that in our syrup. And next we will do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're going to measure it over our pot so that way we don't spill and just measure one full teaspoon and pour it in. And last we have our sugar. So we just need half a cup of sugar. So take your half measuring cup and scoop out one half cup and you just want to make sure it's nice and level so you can just brush it off top to level it with your finger or with a utensil or put it into our pot. Okay and now that everything is in we'll give it, see everything is in and cooking, we'll give it a good mix. So we're heating it up on the, on the stove in order to get the juices to come out of the strawberries and to melt down the sugar, to get everything cooked together. So you'll see everything is still cooking and melting down together. We're gonna keep it on the stove and every now and then give it a nice mix. And uh, you wanna cook it until it's boiling with bubbles. So uh, we'll check back in in a few minutes to see what it looks like. it's boiling and syrupy looking with all the juice coming out of the strawberries and the sugar is nice and melted. So that's actually all done. So we're going to turn our burner off and we can put it to the side to cool. Uh, you can serve it right away on some waffles, pancakes, on top of 
some ice cream, whatever you want, or you can let it cool and put it in a jar and put it in the fridge for later. Okay, so now it's been 10 minutes with our syrup cooling and we're ready to put it in a jar to store it. So we'll take this very carefully. This will still be hot, so don't touch that. And you can use an oven mitt if you need it. And we're just gonna pour it into our jar. Enjoy!